All right, so this um, recording focuses on a figure that we haven't heard from for a while, and that's Dave Smith. You remember Olint um, from way back? You know, remember Dave Smith? So, former Olint um, invest, former Olin invest investment boss Dave Smith has has been released from prison in Turks and Caicos Islands. Um, but his lawyer Oliver Smith says he's not out of the woods, as it his extradition to USC still ha hangs over his head. Smith was incarcerated for more than 10 years, was released yesterday and Wednesday. Lars has described the former Orlean boss, le boss's legal woes as an ordeal that should end, that should end now that he should, they could get on with his life. David Smith served time for fleecing thousands of investors and more than $220 million US in a, in a Ponzi scheme. In 2010, Smith pleaded guilty to 18 counts of money laundering, 4 counts of wire fraud, and 1 count of conspiracy to commit money laundering. He first served 6 and 8 years and a half behind bars and was released for good behavior but returned to prison for an additional 4 years for money laundering for which he was sentenced in the United States. His lawyers remain optimistic, optimistic and elated to have his client home but note that his journey was not yet over. Right, so basically this is that the extradition appeal that the U.S. is gunning for. All right, the U.S. lost extradition case, but still hope to convict Smith on wire fraud. Quoting TCI attorney Gen attorney general Randy Randy Lee Braithwaite Knowles, the Sun News outlet told said that Smith would likely be rearrested. Rearrested in the event the U.S. is successful in its appeal. So basically, Uncle Sam wants to pound the flesh where David Smith's concerned, and so yeah, it's a 50-50 chance that. Smith may walk free for good or he is going to be back behind bars because when Uncle Sam really wants somebody and it's very obvious that David Smith pissed off the wrong people in US. Yeah, he like I said, like he should likely prepare for the eventuality that he's gonna be gonna be back behind a padded cell with bread and water. So that's pretty much was what's ahead for David Smith. Either freedom or or continual incar incarceration so that's pretty much it though so as i have heard i remember dave smith and the only situation like he ripped off a lot of people i think he was basically the jamaican version of bernie madoff and you know how, how much of a crook bernie madoff and a lot of his ilk were all right so he's just basically so i um, basically overall don't feel any way that he got punished and Unfortunately, a lot, there are a lot of people here like David Smith here in Jamaica and the Caribbean who are just as crooked and thieving as he is. So, and all of them need to be behind, behind bars like he is, or he was, I should say. So, I feel nothing but it was an interesting case. I remember the old thing from year um for over a decade ago. So, and it is like up till now, pretty much forgot about this guy until just recently. But what's it goes, I mean. Yeah, look for he either he's gonna be walking free as a as a bird walking free, or he's or like I said, like he can get used to be back behind being back behind being a in a cage with bread and water for his daily supplement. So we'll see how it goes. So this is for State of Jamaican Caribbean. Check out my YouTube pages, Mal's Goose and Fern, Mal's Productions, or No Thoughts Mal's. All right.